Welcome to Blade Banter Channel, where we talk about specs, opinions, and discussions. Uh, this isn't a new thing by any means, but this is kind of that EDC loadout. Uh, Patty's Potato Peelers went and tagged Jay from the Knife Beater. Jay from the Knife Beater tagged me, so I'm going to tag uh, three other folks. So, uh, Mr. Nobody710, very new channel, uh, has knives more expensive than I do, and uh, will probably be a very good upcomer as far as his content. And then House of Wisdom, uh, very knowledgeable, has a lot of uh, high-end knives as well, as well as some good variety within there, and then very nice pictures at the front of his videos on his channel. And then Love Them Knives, a uh, lot of variety, so also um, things from AliExpress all the way through Gearbest, as well as high-end knives. Uh, Love Them Knives has a lot of different things in there. So tagging all three of them. Uh, so for myself, uh, the loadout, uh, that I have available. So for the knife side, um, there's a knife that I really enjoy and I really gravitate to. My Kershaw Fraction with an X. Uh, this one has the G10 and carbon fiber. Uh, so when they first uh, actually brought it out, they did send pictures of it uh, with a uh, deep carry clip. And then they sent it to me without one. So I contacted Kershaw. They sent me a deep carry clip, no charge. Great thing about Kershaw, they just really take care of you on that side. And one thing I found about this, this kind of this little channel here uh, between the carbon fiber and G10, uh, this really uh, does help with the transition from the forward uh, to reverse grip on the knife itself. Uh, so your, your thumb kind of drops in there uh, with that and kind of brings you back to that front grip. Uh, so if that's not a design cue, uh, it just really works out. If it is, then wonderful. Uh, that's a really great way that works out uh, for that knife. Uh, so for my watch, uh, so for work-wise, I do use this quite a bit. Now uh, this is my Moto 360, uh, first generation. I did, need, I did need to change the battery at one point. Uh, so if you ever have a Moto 360, if we do want a Moto 360, and then the person's complaining that, they turn it on and it just turns right off. You just need to re replace the battery. Uh, take some uh, careful care on the back side because you do have to take this off. It is have a lot of adhesive. And then the battery itself is about $15 uh, to do that. Uh, but it does, um, the time you can change the watch faces. So if you feel like a different watch face for the day, change your watch face and then that can get you going. Uh, and then if I'm not going to work, uh, normally I would have something like this. So this is actually, uh, my Timex uh, watch. So Timex uh, before made a lot of different watches uh, in the United States anyway. They do not have any automatic watches anymore. Uh, so this is one of the automatic watches from Timex. It does have a blue second hand there. It does have a magnification. Uh, not a great magnification though, uh, but this is an automatic uh, watch from Timex. Uh, so if anybody comes across one with a black face, I'll probably pick that up uh, from you because I do want to find one with a black face, which is kind of hard to come by. I got this at like an antique store uh, for a good price. Uh, but for that, uh, and then going over, I guess, the wallet. Uh, some other things that he was asking about as far as uh, a torch, a lighter, or a hanky. Uh, I don't have any of those uh, for myself, uh, especially the hanky side. I'm... I can't never get over the fact of like blowing my nose and then putting it back in my pocket. Uh, I, I'm just definitely a tissue guy. I like blow my nose and throw it away. Uh, so if there's a lot of different reasons for it, I don't know of it. So kind of uh, teach me about that as far as uh, that purpose of the hanky because I just can't do that. Uh, but uh, for the other ones, for the lighter, I don't have a lighter, but then for Patty's potato peelers, the electric lighter he had was really interesting with the dual beam as far as that. Uh, that electronic lighter. So that was kind of interesting for that side uh, for the lighter. And then I do not normally carry a uh, flashlight or torch with me. Uh, so this is really all you got. Uh, so this wallet I have uh, is just a Walmart wallet. Uh, this is one that needs to be changed out, but this is a chunky wallet. I have probably more in here than I really should, uh, but it is a front. I do carry it in my front pocket and not my back pocket. Uh, but that is pretty much all of my EDC uh, that I would actually carry around with me. So uh, just tagged all those folks. I'll put their description down below. Uh, but do let me know uh, what you think as well as uh, checking out these other channels as well. So I do appreciate it and then have a great night.